All right, in this video, I'd like to go through making a propeller for the plane. Uh, and I can do that uh, by sketching on the top plane first. That would be my XY plane. If I create a sketch and I use my edge import tool, uh, this gives me a pretty good bound as to where my propeller belongs. You can't see it, of course, so I'll cut my sketch view so you can see where my uh, propeller goes. Go back to my top view. I'll add some driving arcs from there to there. Now we're going to say equal between these two. Shift R will give it something like a, oh, let's go five, five millimeter radius. I'm not really some propeller expert, so we'll just uh, wing this together, pun intended. We'll go with uh, highlighting again the XY plane. And I'm going to create a datum plane that we can go to the front view. And uh, let's say the widest part of our propeller we want to be right here. Let's go with flip sides and bring our datum plane down to that point. Okay. Let's sketch on that datum plane. And my view is blocked, so I'm going to temporarily exit my view. I'm going to go to double click on top view and drag it up so that it's now above the plane. And now I can edit my sketch in piece. <laughs> I'll change my view to wireframe. And I can also hide my sketch plane. I can import these arcs and create a sketch point with a symmetry constraint. I can import a construction polyline that will make equal to these two points and parallel. Now I can say A for angle and make this something like 45 or 135. I like the idea of twisting 45 degrees. We're going to make these two equal. Shift R. Now last time we were 5 millimeters, so let's go 6 millimeters on this one. And I'll make this, oh, how large do I want to make this? Maybe four millimeters, and uh, I'll probably want to go a little bit bigger. Well, let's go with something like even 10. You know what? Let's go 10 millimeters so it thins out. Maybe. Okay, 12. I promise. That's the last one. 12 millimeters. Um, tasks close, right? We're going to exit that sketch. Uh, from here, I can cancel. Actually, let's cancel that. Uh, I can highlight my sketch inside. Additive loft down to here. Add section here. And there you can see our twisting as a propeller would. And I think I'll actually accept that. We're going to have a little bit of a blocky propeller. If you want to smooth it out, you can use the same technique that I used in the wings in the last video. I'll go back to as is. And uh, we can make even maybe one or two more uh, lofts. And choose objects X, Y. Let's go uh, select X, Y actually and uh, make this plane. We're going to flip sides and take our Z down. We can go down to the front view. 
Uh, you can see we're quite wider in our sketch, and maybe I'll want to remedy that. So additive loft. Edit sketch 15, and maybe 3.75. Oh, we better go maybe even down to 3.5. It's still a little bit large, but I think it'll do. Now, uh, again, highlight objects X, Y, plane. And now, I will uh, uh, get that selected and sketch. So you can actually see where our propeller is ending up. Maybe I'll make one more profile that's a little bit uh, smaller. I can import these two sides. Sketch point, symmetry, constraint. There. Next. say come on equal there we go and I can even symmetry constraint this is a different strategy than last time but it works so symmetry constraint here and then just a few things like the size and the orientation uh, I'm going to be lazy and visually just lock that out And then give it a radius of something like 10. Well, the propellers get thinner, so let's go to 16. And close that. And we can choose sketch 15, additive loft. Oh, that's a sweep though. Sketch 16, additive loft. down to here. Okay, sketch. We choose sketch 15, additive loft, add section to here. Front view. And our propeller, as it turns, doesn't appear to get any smaller, which is what we wanted. So I'll make a quick adjustment. Edit sketch. Go 20. And uh, I guess I was wrong to visually lock this out because we want to go. Oh, control, control Z there. We want to go smaller, something like that. There we go. And now, and that's pretty blocky. If you want to make it smoother, I don't blame you. Just follow the same principles that we have when we made the wings. And now we'll uh, grab a datum plane. In fact, you could even even done a uh, ruled surface loft on that. Uh, but I better select XY, plane, okay, so we appear to be resting right on the tip there, and hide the data plane and hide our previous sketch and sketch on data plane 12. Alright, so here I've got my sketch. <coughs> Import those two points. 
I'm going to draw a very small circle that I'm going to make the center symmetric. Shift R, make that 0.1, really small, close. Choose our last sketch. Again, I think a single loft that was a ruled surface would have been good. But this is good too. Um, loft from here, we're going to add section. And choose that little guy there. That's a very thin propeller that has a pretty good twisting pattern, about the size that we need. Now, if I hide my loss, I just want to show you. And show my sketches. And I were to loft this. Let me hide my plane and actually have the right thing highlighted. Loft. Um, we're going to add a section here. Add a section here. And add a section. there. You can see the propeller gets crazy fat in the middle. So uh, the reason why I'm not doing something that isn't a ruled surface or ruled surface like is because of that I just have to make a whole bunch more loft profiles and it would be <clears throat> honestly a little bit of a pain uh, especially for what I'm going for since I'm not the propeller isn't the model that I'm trying to make, it's just uh, something that I'm trying to work on. So, anyway, that's why I've done it. And I think curvature wise, the faces curve very nicely. So, I think the last thing I'll do in this video is grab a polar pattern. Additive loft 5. We'll go around that axis. We're going to say 3 and OK. And next, additive loft or polar pattern, additive loft 6 around the same axis. And we're going to go with 3 features. OK. And then we'll go with additive law, or <laughs> additive law 7 on our polar pattern, and same axis, three features. And that will be our propeller. I can adjust our view by saying top view, move down. Join me in the next video, why don't we cover the tails, and uh, let's go up the canopy too. I'll see you then.